Hi everyone, we are going to the Super Nintendo Entertainment System today. Um, kind of reliving my uh, childhood school, um, childhood education days, uh, whatever, whatever that just meant. But at any rate, we're going to be taking a look at um, a game that was popular amongst uh, several of my uh, classmates in, uh, in grammar school. We're going to be taking a, and it was very, it was all over the place when it came out. You couldn't have missed it if you're any of you guys are 18. 18 years older at least, or whatever, you you definitely remember this. We're going to be taking a look at Math Blaster for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. This was out, as you can see, in 1994. Um, I actually grew up with the PC version. I really like the PC version. <clears throat> uh, and I guess this, the story of the game is pretty much that, you know, you're thrown into space or whatever. You're, you're, uh, I think your ship goes down or something. And you have to get out of it, get out, get out of the, uh, get out of that situation by solving math problems and stuff. Now, I should warn you, I, I'm sure you've all seen the game before, at least heard of the concept of the game. Now, I should warn you ahead of time, but, you know, I've taken calculus, and I've taken pre-calculus, and I would say my math skills are superb, possibly above average. But as you get, as you start, mas begin mastering the higher levels of mathematics, your simple math skills plummet. They go down, down the drain. So, that being said, and I'm tired, and I don't have any caffeine in me like I usually do. So I'll stop rambling, and we're going to take a look at the menu screen. Okay, so this is what you get. Um, but I'm just saying, you've been warned. Um, I'm just doing a review. I'm not saying that I'm good at this game by any means. Okay, Blaster Knots. Uh, I have no idea what that means. Four. It's a lucky number. Nine, four. Uh, okay, math difficulty. One to twelve. Scale one to twelve. I imagine one being the easiest. Will be the hardest. Uh, play it safe. We're gonna go with a five. Right, okay. Game difficulty normal. Practice well. I don't care. I'll go with normal. Sound effects sure. Why not? Music. I love music. Uh, okay. Select controls. Yeah, I don't know why you click buttons. Nope. Nope. Right. Okay. Let's do this. Let's do this thing, guys. Start doing some math blasting out there. Okay, now this is pretty much similar to the PC version, you know, you probably figured. Oh, that's right, it's circle, okay. You probably figured that, you know, since it's math last year, you gotta actually shoot stuff. I know, it's funny, huh? Alright, well, 9 minus 4 is 5, isn't it? I might be bad at math, not that bad. There we go. And yeah, like I said, this was out on the PC version um, in 1994. Um, really, a whole bunch of mini games you could do. You could there was a mini there was one of the games on there where you could be like a super. It was like a Super Mario game almost, really, where you could actually um, you could actually like wander around parts of the planet that you fell on or whatever. And, you know, and try to prepare you. I think you had, like, repair your ship or something. I don't know, I forget. It was a long time ago. I got the PC version I haven't played in probably 10 years, at least 10 years. Probably more like 15 years. So I really couldn't tell you too much about the PC version other than, you know, the, other than um, a couple of the mini games on there and the date that it came out. You know, you're like, you know, kind of too. Um, in addition to that, in addition to the, um, you know, to this mini game that was on there, and um, and the the, um, the adventurous games that were on the uh, PC version, they also included an equation solver, which was like kind of like a, a machine. In order to uh, in order to progress the game, you had to solve a, a series of equations. And by that, I don't mean just you know different parts of the equation. I should say it was like an equation builder, where you had to make things, you know, where you had to actually create your own equations. It's probably better way to say it. It was an equation machine, and you had to solve, you had to you know come up with a bunch of equations to continue through the game, which was kind of cool. I like that. Yeah, stage complete. Oh yeah, I'm a math blaster, guys. Awesome. Alright, 10,000 bonus points. Sweet. And then, yeah, there was always um, a, a series of asteroids that would come at you. You know, kind of emulate the fact that you're in space. 
It, this, guys, this looks so much better on PC. If you can, try this out for PC. Like I say, I have to buy, go out and buy this again. I wasn't going to do that for this review. <laughs> Sorry. You can go ahead and buy it. Buy it for your kids or whatever, because this is just a... It was terrific on PC. I don't know. Compared to PC, and it's okay, I guess. But that being said... That being said... You, the 90s were... Um, the 90s was a was a time, and a lot of you teenagers will probably uh, agree with me and remember this. The 90s was a time where pretty much educational games were the evolution of educational games was beginning, especially on the computer. But it really wasn't happening. You know, it really wasn't happening at all on uh, you know on Nintendo or you know PlayStation. You know, or, you know or um. Or any of those, you know, popular game systems. It just wasn't happening. Video games were solely, you know, for entertainment purposes for the most part. You know, except for the exception of some Fisher Price games or some little kitty games. It didn't involve much thinking, you know. You know, like little puzzles and mazes and stuff like that. But, you know, for the most part, not too much math. You know, really not math. No math or reading or anything like that involved in early games. So... So this is kind of a step up for, really, Nintendo, I think. I think this is a step up for Nintendo and whoever else ported this game. I'm not really too sure who else ported this game. Uh, but I would imagine it got ported through at least two or three other systems. This was huge at the time. Um, another good game, uh, I think you'll find it that, um, you might remember this or you might not, but it was a very good educational game, was Reading Blaster. I loved Reading Blaster. I think I liked Reading Blaster more than this, more than Math Blaster. Reading Blaster was another favorite of mine. <laughs> more points for me. And uh, you know, it, okay. Whenever I give a review, I take into account the time period. Uh, I take into account. You know, the, the, how much fun it would have been for kids to play at the time the game was made. You know, I can't compare it to today because technology's through the roof today. Everything's on the computer. We have research done on the computer. Uh, you now children are required to be on computers. Back then, you know, in the 90s, I mean, I was on computers too. I was using floppy disks and all the old, old computer jargon, you know. But, you know, by no means was it required. We were playing some... You know, we play playing maybe one or two games and, and learning how to do word processing skills, you know, and stuff like that. Um, you know, back in the 90s. So, you know, and like I said, that was on that was done on computers. It wasn't done on video game systems. So this is a relatively new concept, I think. I know. And, uh, it was like 20, uh, 23? Yeah. yeah, I got that right. Sweet. Okay. So I've been rambling so long, so what is the actual review going to be of this game? That is the question, guys. That's what it's going to come down to. What's the actual review? That's what it comes down to with all game system, with all my game reviews. And my answer to that question is <laughs> not an easy one. Uh, it's tough to give this game a, uh, you know, because it's so educational and, you know, because it is kind of, you know... And for kids, this would be fun. Um, my official review, guys, three out of five stars. And I am going to stay by that, stand by that. Um, you know, I'm sure there are more mini games here. I'm just playing. I don't know. They just keep taking me through this one mini game. I'm sure once you get a certain level, there's another mini game, or whatever. But yeah. Uh, for the PC version, I would say three. I would say three out of five stars. For this version, probably two and a half out of five stars. I would say this is nothing special. But keep in mind that um, you know, for the time period, it was pretty good. I mean, for the time period, it actually worked. So educational value, I gotta go with four and a half to five. Um, and overall, I'm gonna stick with the. I'm just gonna go ahead and stick with my the first thing I said the three the three out of five stars. Um, so that's gonna be my official review of this game, guys. Three out of five. Um, 
for its educational value, if anything. That's, that's uh, very admirable about this game. Threatify is my official review of this. I'm getting tired. I'm going to go to bed, guys. Uh, please uh, stay tuned for some of my other videos. I'm coming out with uh, a couple more for the SNES, N64, and, um, and obviously the NES. Talk to you guys later. Uh, thanks again for watching. Bye.